Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I'll show you how to fix the event ID 16 error on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run your app as an administrator. So what you have to do is right click on the problematic app and click on run as an administrator. This should be super simple, but if you want to apply this as a default state to your app, just click on the properties option and then in here head over to the compatibility tab, then tick the box next to run this program as an administrator. And you can also run the program in compatibility mode. So tick the box next to run this program in compatibility mode 4 and then select Windows 8 or Windows 7. This should work properly from the moment you select this program in compatibility mode. Now click on apply and OK to save the changes restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to repair the corrupt system files. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. And now in here in the command prompt window, make sure to copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose your patience. Afterwards, just restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, you can also change the DNS server. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type ncpa.cpl, then select it as a control panel item from the search results. Now in here, right-click on your problematic network and then select Properties. What you have to do next is click on the Internet Protocol version 4 and once again click on the Properties button for this and in here what you have to do is tick the box next to use the following DNS server addresses and in the preferred DNS server type in 8.8.8.8 then 8.8.4.4 Now click on OK to save the changes, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, you can also update the drivers. So right click the Windows button and head over to Device Manager in this list. And what you have to do in here is locate the problematic drivers. Usually there's an exclamation sign next to the category and expand it. Right click the problematic driver and select the update driver option. Now just click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will scan the best available drivers on your PC. Now these drivers will be installed automatically, then you can check if the problem still persists. But if this is not enough, you can just click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update. So click on it and in here click on the blue check for updates button. Windows will then locate the latest updates on the internet and then download and install them automatically. You can then check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to reset the network settings. To do this, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now what you have to do in here is copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but note it's quite a list. You have exactly five commands that you have to type in, so copy paste each command one by one and press enter after each command. Afterwards, close this window, restart your computer, then check if the problem still persists. And that's it! Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching!